Salutations, everyone, and this is my The Fault in Our Stars movie review. By the way, if you haven't read the book, read the book. You should always read the book first. Read the book. It's actually a really easy to read book. I myself, a person who doesn't even like reading, was able to knock this thing out in just a couple of days. And if you really get into it, if you want to see it before you see the movie, you can knock it out in about a day. Now, of course, as a person who really enjoys the book, I needed to see this movie as quickly as possible, and I found the nearest theater to me that had the night before our stars event. Now, of course, outside of seeing the movie before anyone else, there was also a couple of perks for this special event that hopefully many of you got to see if you wanted to. There was a question and answer live simulcast after the film with John Green as well as the cast and crew. Plus, you also got two freebies. You got this uh, Fault in Our Stars uh, bracelet here. It says the Fault in Our Stars 6514. That's the date that we saw it technically the day before it comes out. And the second thing you got was this really cool poster for the night before our stars with Fassie Smile signatures of Charlene Woodley, John Green, Ansel Elgort, and Nat Wolf. Very nice, good, sturdy cardstock here. Now, of course, with the movie being based off of the number one New York Times bestseller, a lot of people are, well, like to compare how the book compared to the movie. And I thought this one was done really well. I thought that it was done very faithfully to the source material. John Green, of course, has been in great support with this film being on set, on the filming as well as going through the press tour and all the interviews and Q&As that have gone through. And if he didn't like the film, he wouldn't be doing all this. So it has the blessing of the author, the creator of this fantastic book. And I think it will get your blessing as well if you're a fan or maybe even if you're not, if you didn't even read the book. I thought the casting was great. Shailene Woodley, one of my favorite actresses. Ansel Elgort did a great job. Uh, Nat Wolf, uh the, the rest of the supporting cast, uh, it was just phenomenal. Uh, everything that I had really imagined was mostly translated to the screen exactly how I pictured it in my head, with the exceptions of Funky Bones was a little different than I thought. I thought it would have been a little more vertical, as well as um, Peter Van Houten was actually played by Willem Dafoe, which I didn't know going into the film, and wasn't really the type of character that I had in mind, but I thought he did a fantastic job as well. Overall, I think being a fan of the book, that this was a great adaptation. It did everything that it needed to do. All the feels was there. I mean, it's a uh, People are going to say that the book is always going to be better than the movie for the most part, but what John Green said in the Q&A, I think, was absolutely true, that sometimes a movie can definitely have the scenes hit harder than they would on paper because you actually get to see it you get to visualize it you get to see the pain and emotion in the actor's eyes and i thought the entire cast did a great job conveying these feels and it really translated well to an entire audience of sniffling young women of course as a man i'd have to say that there were only about 10 of us in the film with a bunch of young girls but that doesn't mean that this is a girly movie or a girly book. Now, of course, with some people, especially your movie critics out there, they're not really going to enjoy certain parts of this movie. They'll say it's either contrived, really, you know, generalistic, and really trying to hit home on emotions and not really have you feel anything truly deep. Of course, I think it can generally be decided as people don't know what they're talking about, so their opinions really shouldn't matter to anyone. As someone who knows the book, loves it, and understands it very well, I thought that the movie adaptation was absolutely brilliant, entirely across the board. It was funny, it was romantic, it had them feels, it had the pain. Uh, I myself didn't cry. I could have at uh, about, you know, the four appropriate times in the movie to do it. But, uh, you know, well enough a little bit, but nothing, you know, too bad. I did cry reading the book at the end, but um, I think having known what was going to come had me more emotionally prepared than the book had me, so uh, the waterworks were turned off for tonight. But they were teetering, I'm going to say. All in all, I thought it was a great event, worth the $25 ticket price for my special little thing that most people aren't really going to see. But uh, I think it was a fantastic movie. I thought anyone can enjoy it. You definitely should read the book first. And I thought it was absolutely brilliant. My favorite book... One of the greatest movies of the year easily. It's a little early to tell which is going to take the top spot, but I think this one is going to be some stiff competition for other films that are going to be coming out later this year. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought of the movie and the book or the comparisons that you would draw between the two, acting performances, etc. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to be awesome.